Edward and the Cabbage. Edward's branch line runs on the station at the bottom of the It goes along the coast to a port with a twin tank in the Edward's boat is And Dr. Douglas and the Scottish twins help them They all work happily together. Their trains do need to run fast. But it's not often they keep the big engines waiting. Usually it's the big engines who are lazy. One morning, James was delayed at the police station. And Edward had to wait for him. When at last he could start, he wanted to hurry to make up for lost time. Steady, Edward, pushed the driver. I know we'll wait, but an accident will make us even later. Edward stood. But as he approached the next station, his wheels jolted badly at some points. When Edward had stopped at the platform, the driver checked him all over. But everything seemed to be in order. Edward set off again. Beginning to gain speed, he began to be fun. My throat's all wobbly, he complained. Scarcely had he said it, and the fireman saw something bumping along the line beside him. Jiminy Christmas, look at that! he exclaimed. And quickly, the driver crossed the cab, and both watched in horror as a round metal object rolled along beside them like a hoop. After a while, it hit a stone and bounced away into a field. Very carefully, the driver applied the brakes, and Edward came safely to a the felt very loose. The driver and fireman climbed down and came to the There was no doubt what the trouble was. One of them wasn't there. One of your bogey wheels is broken off, said the driver. Thank goodness we were on a straight track and not going too fast. There could have been a nasty accident. A little later, the fat controller's telephone rang. <laughs> Listened in astonishment. What's that you say? An engine's wheels in your cabbages? I quite agree. It must have been a great surprise. Will of Edwards, you think? Is he all right? Thank you. I'll see to it at once. The fat controller put the telephone down and mopped his face with a red and white spotted handkerchief. Bless my soul, he said to himself. It's a good thing Edward didn't end up in the cabbages himself. Next day, Boko helped Edward to the works. Edward's wheel, broken off where the axle joined it, but otherwise undamaged, travelled in his tender. The fat controller came to see him. You had a lucky escape, Edward, he said. But no harm done. I just hope we can get you mended before the Golden Jubilee celebrations. Oh, and by the way, the farmer says that if your driver wants cabbages in future, there's much safer ways of cutting them. <laughs> <laughs>